so this lot is so big. We've got to go around in a golf cart. Hey, good morning guys and welcome back to the vlog. Today, we are at Camping World in Oklahoma City and we're gonna go in and check out some RVs and just look around and have some fun. This is kind of one of my dreams to be able to someday travel around the country in an RV with the family. Who knows if that'll ever happen? But here guys, we're gonna get some answers. We're gonna check it out and uh, see what their customer service is like. All of these. Huh. So this lot is so big. We've got to go around in a golf cart. I bring you this one because okay. I just showed it recently. It's an 08, and I want to say it was like 16,000. Okay. And I thought it was in phenomenal shape. Yeah. But bunkhouse wise, it is not a bunkhouse. Right, right. It, huh. But it gives you an idea of it's cool. the quality. I mean, it, you should be able to find something. Mm -hmm. This is like my mom and dad. Yeah, right? it's almost exactly. Yeah, huh? it is. It is. Well, their bad. Their bedroom doesn't have as much space right here. Right, because this has a pop out in the bedroom, yeah. Uh huh. Yes, sir. So, so see, this could like right here. You could make a fold down or something into a desk. It's got two slides. Yeah, you what I would be looking for is you can find bunk houses that have an actual separate room. Yeah, that's back. kind of what we're thinking about. That something separate like room that. Room will usually have four bunks. Yeah. And one side will be what do you call it non-structural yeah, mm. and. It'd be nothing to pull that out, put it right. in the desk. I was just showing a family one that's the exact same thing you guys are, and that's what they were thinking. Huh. Yeah, this is on. This is what it looks like. You got the <laughs> stove right there. You've got an oven right there. Yes. You got a microwave. You got cold, hot, running water. <laughs> refrigerator. Bam! That's cool, man. This is bigger than our refrigerator in Indonesia. Way cool. So this guy's right here is the one we're looking at. It has bunks inside, four bunks. It's got a master bedroom and uh, high ceilings. But okay. Idea. The reason right. is the bunkhouse is in the front. It's kind of bizarre. It's oh really? Huh. But that's kind of cool though. You see how one side? Oh two yeah. Bunks, yep. That comes out and two desks. Oh yep. wow. And you're in business. That's pretty cool. 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 Let's look in here. Now this is a 2015. You're probably looking more like 25. But yeah. Yeah, you could totally do that. But like, my question is, like, how are you gonna sit with a desk down here like this? No, this one comes out. Take this till so you take this out. Then you got this whole space, so you put a desk here, a desk there. You'd sleep one here, one there. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, it'll pull a lot, subjective. Yeah. They make three quarter tons. Don't ask me why. They tow next to nothing. Mm. By half ton, I'll tell you. So you, the yeah. biggest things are rear gear ratio. This is cool too, Daddy. You got a picture of TV right here. Uh, this is cool. This is a nice Annual comforter too. <laughs> this, this is nice, dude. Rear gear ratio. Cool. This is cool, huh? The lower the number. Cool little sink. Closet. Oh, look at that, guys. That's cool. This is an Eagle Elite. It's a 29.5 foot. What's that? Oh, by Jayco. We've got a ladder to get up on the roof. Here's a bunk one, guys. Okay. Huh. So this one doesn't have the doesn't have the couch in it. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, this, this is cool. Sure does. Bunk, bunk. Huh. Right. So here we've got a bunk. And then this right here folds into a bed also, that couch. We got a bunk up here as well. This is good too. Yeah. Because then only one place for working. So. Right, but what we could do is we could make another one like that right here. Take out that couch and we put, put one right there. there. Mm-hmm. That could be, yeah. That's good. And then you guys have, you've got closet space, closet space right here. This one's cool too, Jules. Oh, this has bunk beds. Yeah. Huh. Oh, that's nice. It's a and, and it's tall ceilings too. Yeah. Uh -huh. huh. This one's been used a little bit more. Bed. Nice. This is an 06. 
Oh, six. It's not a line yet. It's going to be under 20. Okay. Looks like this one's been used a little bit more than... Okay. Huh. So then, like, this one's enclosed. This one, I don't think. This is a 36, huh? Uh-huh. Just want to look inside. What does a 36 look like? It's got an island. That's pretty big. That's some space. Yeah, it's got a cool desk thing over here, though. Big recliners. Yeah. Something like this, and we've been in for a year. Yeah. You can look at the big ones if maybe you don't have a bunk house. But right. Put up a cot in that. And, you know, the couch yeah. all turn into full size pull outs. Right. Huh. Yeah, that's nice, but. But even, even pre owned and older when you get to this size luxury. Cool, check this out. So, if you're only a toy hauler, just think for my example, look at this one. This okay. is why this is some kind of need. I want to do this. That's crazy. Oh, there's somebody in there. Okay. Y'all come on. Can you shut that door, bud? We're going to go look at the toy hauler over here. Wow. But. What? That's crazy. Here's what they'll do. He said some fa families will give the kids their own apartment. I have a lot of families huh. that when they have kids. Yeah. Well, this becomes the kids' room. Cool. It has its own AC unit. Huh. The bottom ones. Yeah. These are electronic, and they can either be up on the side or down like a dinette chairs. Mm. Mm. A table up for a dinette. Yeah. But the best part is it can stay just like this, and it drops to about right here. This one goes to about right here, and you have two queen bunks. Mm. Oh, really? Wow. This one has its own huh. full bath. Yeah. TV. Huh. Everything. All of wow. a sudden, they have yeah. their own right. space. Yeah, that's nice. This opens up into a patio, just like the side. Mm. Wow. So That's funny. crazy. And then oh, look at, got there's a bunk above us. Up there. Oh yeah. Huh. How do you get up there? Oh, right here. A ladder. So cool. I want to. I want to have that one. <laughs> <laughs> sure you do. You got a fireplace. There's something else to keep in mind. People go fireplace. That's kind of done. It's just electric, but it's also a space heater. So if you don't want to use all your liquid propane in the furnace, yeah, that'll. It's such a such a small space that'll actually heat up the whole place. Right. Let's take a look at the Rio Grande. Really quick, just jump in here, take a peek. Oh, nice, big area there. And up here we've got the master bedroom. Nice. This is the whole bathroom area with the shower. Sarah. Hi. This is cool, I mean it's cool for two people. Continuing on our journey. Yeah, these are gonna be the smaller bumper pool ones that Yeah, this is a pretty short one here, buddy. Eagle HT 27 foot. Wow, that's nice inside though. Yeah. Hmm. That's cool. Look at that. What goes into the bedroom? Huh. So you can oh, wow. not have to go out. That's neat. Huh. <laughs> That's cool, guys. That's a nice shower, too. Wow. Whew. We did something like this. We'd have to. <laughs> That's way too small. Hmm. What was he saying about the. I uh, mean, to do the bunk things. I mean, we could put them in a tent for that. Yeah. What yeah, was he tents. About the refrigerator? He was saying that he was saying like this this propane refrigerator here electric. uses electric or gas, like propane. Okay. And so if you get one that only has electric, like it's a, a household refrigerator, then you need electricity. electricity. Okay. You can't run it off your propane. And where's the propane tank? Like is it underneath? Probably or? up front probably. Oh. Wow, look at those lights. Those fixtures are pretty. Those are pretty. Huh. All right, let's keep going. He's going to be showing us a brand new Pullman in a little bit that's under 20 that might meet our needs. <laughs> like we have needs. We don't have any needs. We're just looking for fun. Yeah, this one has two doors. Ooh, let's look at that. So cool. It's got a whole master bedroom right here. Nice. It's got a bedroom. That's it. Come into here. That's cool. No, but it's nice still. No bunks. It's cool. Mm. Mom wants to look at the 
Come on over where? Okay. At the hummingbird. Oh, cute. It's cute, cute. Aww. Aww, this is a cute one. Huh? Wow. The trailer that those folks traded in a week later? Yeah? Is it like this one? It is this one. Oh, really? It's this one. I like it. It's cute. It's cute for camping. I want one. One for you. Huh. Oh, that's cool. Bunks. Cruise on in. That's nice, new? man. This is brand new. Brand new. Wow. Huh. It's a nice bedroom. I mean, you have curtains. You don't have the door, but... You can go both ways, though, around it. What? What? Uh-huh. It's cool. Of course, with something like this, you're going to have two years full warranty. Yeah. And it'll have much better resale. Mm-hmm. It's cool. I know, isn't it? It's nice, yeah. This is cool for, like, you have access to the outside in yeah. the bathroom. See? Oh, really? Yeah, so if you're working outside, you don't have to walk all the way through to go to the bathroom. You can just go right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's cool. And if you have, like, a really good view, you could just sit there and look at the view. Yeah. Air it out. Yeah. yeah. Something like that. Something like that. Edge of the canyon. Yeah, so you got the outdoor kitchen as well. You got a quick connect to your liquid propane, so you've set up your gas it. grill right here. Okay. So yeah. Run it off the trailers. It's pretty neat. And then. And that's the bathroom right there. Refrigerator. Yep. I put all your So this is a 30 foot bunkhouse. Oh, nice. That is cool. It's got its own separate room. Big storage. Hmm. A cool island. It is a cool island. Uh, this actually. Oh yeah, storage underneath. Goes up. Take the mattress off. Uh huh. This is where I would think about oh, yeah. setting up two desks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This goes flat. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, huh? I don't know if I can get it off the back of this thing. Okay. Oh, that's and bam. Cool. Yep. Yeah. Put in your two desks. Yeah. There's one bunk there, one there, and then you got a couch that folds oh, wow. out. That's true. Yeah, that'd be cool. Just need a couple folding chair, a couple folding lawn chairs there for your desk chairs. It's <laughs> cool. Yep. They also make those desks that go on your lap. So if you're sitting there, you know, it's like a beanbag chair underneath the desk and it sits on your lap and you can do your work. I don't know that that would work that great. But that's where they go, huh? Oh, that would be nice. It's cool looking. What do you think, Jules? This one's nice. Oh yeah, you get to the bedroom again over here. Bathroom, nice glass shower. Nice. Yeah, huh? Two of them. Yeah. And I love the island on this one too. That is cool. And this one had, like, the other one had curtains, but this one has doors that separate the master. Yeah. Yeah, what is that? It's the 304BH. From what? Cherokee Limited. It's cool. So Cherokee Limited, who makes that? Is that Cherokee's? Forest River. Forest River. Okay. They are the huh. largest RV manufacturer. And so you've got a propane outlet right here for a grill, right? Uh huh. And then tanks right here. Outdoor kitchen again. Yep. Huh. And it's got a rack back here for holding, carrying stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Huh. The reason is, there's that your desk. That is cool, yeah. These come down as either, like again, chairs or yep. another queen size bunk. They can go huh. flat to the side or straight up. Okay, and this is a bunk, a bunk there. That's, I didn't know that all this was in a toy hauler. Yeah. I just thought it was just a room where you put your toys. That all drops out. Huh. We ran out of time. We've got a meeting today at 11.30. And so uh, we're back in here, just kind of in the store area where they sell all of the parts, accessories, and all that kind of stuff. But Chuck was super nice here at um, a Camping World in Edmond, Oklahoma. 
So thank you very much, Chuck, for that. They were super friendly, super helpful, and even though they knew right from the beginning that we weren't planning on buying today, they took the time to show us around, tell us about the RVs, you know, give us a lot of information that'll help us to make a decision later in the future. So really, thumbs up here to Camping World. Thank you so much for that. If you guys are looking for an RV, why not check out Camping World? Great customer service, a ton of information, but uh, we're gonna go. We're gonna get in the car. We got a meeting to go to today. And so I wanna say to you, hope you have a really great day and keep smiling.